This video explains the construction procedure of an epicycloid. An epicycloid is a curve traced by a point on the circumference of a circle. When the circle rolls on the outer surface of another the moving circle is called rolling circle or generating circle. The fixed circle is called directing circle or base circle. Let us see the construction procedure of an epicycloid in detail. Draw a vertical line. Length of this line is equal to the radius of directing arc. With the end point of line as center, draw the directing arc. Then the included angle of epicycloid is to be calculated by the formula small r divided by capital R into 360. Small r is the radius of generating circle or, or rolling circle. Capital R is the radius of directing circle. In this example, generating circle radius is taken as 25 mm and directing circle radius is taken as 100 mm. Thereby, the angle theta is equal to 25 divided by 100 into 360 which is 90 degree. Half of this angle should be taken on both the sides of the vertical line. Now, divide this angle into equal number of divisions. Next we have to draw the generating circle or rolling circle. Extend the extreme left hand side line for a distance equal to the diameter of the generating circle. Now draw the generating circle. Divide the generating circle also into the same number of divisions. Mark numbers on the generating circle. Mark numbers on the directing circle or also. Draw arcs through all the divisional points of generating circle. Draw center arc through the center point of generating circle also. Extend all the divisional points of directing circle up to the center line. Mark the center location of generating circle. Now with each of these center points and with the radius of generating circle cut points on the arcs drawn through the corresponding divisional points of generating circle. That is from C2 as center on the arc drawn through point 2 and C3 as center on the arc drawn through point 3 and so on. Join these points with a smooth curve. This curve is called epicycloid. To draw the tangent and normal, mark any desired point on the curve. That point as center and with the generating circle radius, cut a point on the center arc. Join this point to the center of directing arc. That line will intersect on the directing arc. Join this point with point on the epicycloid. Extend this line. This line is the normal. Draw a line perpendicular to the normal through the point of the epicycloid. This is the tangent. 